Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here with my LG G4 because it has received the Android 6.0 Marshmallow update. Let me jump into settings real quick, go to About Phone, go to Software Information, and up at the top you'll see Android version 6.0. Quickly tap on it and you can get to this Easter egg. It does not have the Easter egg game, unfortunately, when you press and hold on that icon. But anyways, let's talk about what has changed. For example, with your home launcher, you can actually uninstall that straight from your home launcher. You just go ahead and hit uninstall. No need to actually go into your app drawer and then click and drag to that uninstall icon. Now also there's a new silent mode. So when you use your volume rockers, you can turn on ringtone, go all the way down to vibrate, go down once more. It does not put it into silent mode, at least on my model. This is the Korean model. When I go into settings, you have notification, sounds, touch, feedback, and then your music and media volumes as well. Pulling down the status bar is where you can actually put it into silent. So you go into silent, alarms ring even when in silent mode as well. Another very small change and an aesthetic change actually is when you go into auto brightness, it's going to tell you what percentage it's at and also do a quick animation showing you that the display brightness is getting changed. We're going to jump into settings because the lock screen has changed specifically knock code. So I'll show you why we're going to go into knock code now. And that was actually it. You need to do at least six taps and use at least three quarters. So that is what has been updated with knock code. Knock code being where you can have at least six taps. And again, you need to have at least three quarters of this square. Very big thing that the G4 now has is now on tap. So for example, let's say you get a text message that says, hey, let's get Chipotle at seven. You press and hold the home button to activate now on tap. And you'll see it's going to analyze the display and give you contextual search results. So you'll see at 7 p.m. Chipotle Mexican Grill, you can create a calendar event. It gives you Chipotle results. Google results, menu, maps. And then if you do wanna get into Google now, all you have to do is press that G and it's gonna jump you into it. I do have a full review of Now on Tap. I'll link to it in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Now, another updated feature is when you take a screenshot, volume down and power. Let's go ahead and snap a quick screenshot. It's gonna show you a notification in the pull down bar. You can delete it straight from that pull down bar. So you just press delete and it's gone. Another much needed update that Marshmallow brings is updated text selection. So I'm gonna select this word and up above it, you'll see cut, copy, paste right above it, not at the top of the screen. Three dots, adds more. You can share, clip tray, select all, translate. So if you have Google Translate installed, you can translate it directly from a different app. You don't need to go into the Translate app. Now, real quick, another updated feature is when you hit share, it's called direct share. So you'll see, I'm gonna share with test in the SMS app directly to them. So you don't need to input who you're sharing it to, anything like that, that's called direct share. It goes above your apps. Anyways, back to text selection, we're going to go into it. And when you go to the right, it selects entire words. And then when you go to the left, it goes letter by letter. So much, much easier to select text and much, uh, much better than it was on Lollipop. Now we're gonna jump back into settings because there are some new ones. So we're gonna scroll down and there is a specific RAM usage option that lets you know how much RAM is used over a specific amount of time. And then also you can go into each specific app and see how much RAM each one is using as well. Now going back, there's a specific app section as always, but now there's granular app permissions, which is great because you can uh, choose them as they ask for your permission to use that. For example, Chrome, I don't want Chrome to know my location. So I'm going to deny Chrome my location. There you go doesn't need it anymore. Now also there's another one called notifications and this is called peaking. Peaking is where that little notification uh, shade comes down a little bit above the screen, covers the top of the screen, then pops back up for a little bit. You can allow or not allow peaking and uh, you can also block or prioritize specific notifications. Another nice update with Marshmallow is with battery life and it's called Doze. I can't really show it off, but essentially what happens is if you have a phone sitting there for an extended period of time, it's going to do a much better job at saving battery life. For example, if you fall asleep, forget to charge your phone, you will notice that battery life won't drain nearly as much as it used to. Anyways, we're gonna go to the top and this one's more specific to the Korean model that I have and it's called Giga Multipass. Essentially, it could bring up to two gigabits per second of LTE speed. So that's just kind of something for the Korean model. And then also when you pull down the shade, you'll see Capture Plus that actually used to be called Q Memo. So that got updated as well. That's when you take a quick screenshot, you can draw on the screen, et cetera, do a lot of different things. But that's really about it with the Marshmallow update on your LG G4. Not too much aesthetically, unfortunately. I wish they would have brought a little bit more material design, maybe a little less cartoony apps, but that's just a personal preference of mine. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. You can subscribe to my channel as well. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.